In the not too distant future Next Sunday AD There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his boss didn't like him So they shot him in the space Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I've asked Joel if he'd raise the level on my sarcasm sequencer. Uh, do it. Right oh, there. yes. Oh, while you're at it, why don't you keep digging into my back? A warm, relaxing massage with a screwdriver? Ooh, sign me up for that. I think it's working. <gasps> the Great Crow Speaks? Ooh, let me anoint your beak with scented oils. Membership in the Crow Fan Club? Oh, it's a dream come true for me. Ooh. Commercial sign in 15 seconds. Commercials? Oh, boy, I can't wait. 30-second materialistic sound bites that insult our intelligence? Ooh, give me more of those. Uh, I'm going to have to just... Uh, Tom's sarcasm sequencer will be at, back after that. <gasps> oh, commercial sign. Joel Robinson five, going to honor four, me with his attention? Three, a blessing two, in disguise? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, dig a little harder, Joel. I can't feel the pain yet. What am I, chopped liver? Hey, cut that out. You're making me hungry. Satisfy your appetite with SCTV weeknights at 1 on CTV. On TGIF, there's a giant new show coming. But first, it's an all-new Full House. Everybody! Then the biggest stars to hit television in 60 million years. Ta-da! Not the mama, not the mama, not I really the wish you'd grow out of this. On the premiere of Dinosaurs. Then, it's the good, the bad, and the Urkel on Family Matters. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then, get ready for the perfect firefighters. Fry bars in your left hands. Perfect strangers. It's all new tonight. Ouch. Ouch. Double ouch. There must be a better way to get rid of unwanted hair. Now there is. Introducing Azara, a new method that removes hair quickly, easily, painlessly, and keeps it off up to 10 full weeks. Azara is more effective than any other method. It's a lot quicker than tweezers and epilators, lasts much longer than shaving, contains no harsh chemicals like creams, is much cleaner than waxes, and costs only pennies to use. Use it wherever you have unsightly or unwanted hair. You'll feel comfortable and attractive all over. Azara is only $19.95, but order now and get a second tube free. If you're not delighted, return it for a complete refund. Have your credit card ready and call now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-733-9300 or send check on money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Azara 4100 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia or call 1-800-733-9300. Statistics show that 46% of all kids who smoke marijuana are inner-city youth. Guess who the other 54% are? Call for a free parent's guide to drug prevention. 1-800-624-0100. Looking for stars? Count on CTV to bring you to first names in TV comedy, like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Jerry Lewis. The critics are morons. In France, I'm considered a god. And, well, 
Buddy Young Jr. Does Jack Lord know you have his hair? <laughs> the first names in TV comedy. And one other guy. What did you do? Come from New Jersey? <laughs> Saturday Night Live, Monday through Thursday at 10 on CTV, the comedy network. Uh, I think you got him set on uh, constant uh, sarcasm, and you're going to want to have him on random, pretty much, uh, I think. Uh, okay. No kidding. Yeah, I put him on random sarcasm, so he'll only be sarcastic at the appropriate time. Like, uh, when someone mentions, uh, like, uh, Pia Zadora. <gasps> Well, actually, I think many, making fun of her has become a cliché. Everybody does it. And, you know, in her favor, she was in a John Waters film, you guys. Okay, well, what about um, Dan Quayle? Well, look, Dan Quayle scares me as much as the next guy, but everybody and their sister has come up with a sarcastic Dan Quayle quip. Oh. It's just too easy. I'm not even going to mention uh, Gallagher, then. <gasps> oh, he is my absolute all-time favorite. Oh, paying money to have watermelon sprayed all over you? Oh, give me more of that. Oversized props mixed with undersized talent? Oh, put me in the front row. Excuse me, Mr. Shopkeeper. Can I trade in my volume of annotated Shakespeare for a tape of melon crazy? Oh, please, may I? Ooh. Uh, take it easy. The uh, elusive Uber Lords are calling here. Look, I run the operation around here, and I say you do the invention exchange first. Geez, I don't mind as long as you guys aren't planning on stealing another one of my ideas. That's good. Get everything he says down, and then make a sketch of what he's just done. What? What? Didn't I tell you to do the invention exchange first? Well, all right. My invention this week is about a junk drawer. Uh, every home should have a junk drawer, and a lot of people don't know how you get them started, so... Uh, I invented this, which is junk drawer helper. It comes in a little bag, and it's got a few of those items that are great for starting a junk drawer. Pretty soon you'll accumulate a whole drawer full of stuff. Anyway, there's stuff like a CO2 cartridge in there, a uh, plastic golf ball, uh, uh, a card to a Harley Davidson dealership, That's silly fine. putty, and a little flower, okay? And before you know it, it's oh. filled with junk, see? Hey. That's how you get started. What do you think? Well, actually, we've got a really cool invention this week. I just hope we can find it through all this junk in here. Jeez. Yeah, you're not the only one with a junk drawer, you know. Yeah, wow, look at all this. Oh, you remember oh, this? Yeah. Remember this, the plastic butt from when we were selling the thruster busters? <laughs> Very important for your training, Frank. <laughs> oh, and look, world's greatest grandmother. Oh. Norman Bates gave me that. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, by the way, doctor, I forgot to tell you, the product placement people called me today. Mm -hmm. I told them, in no uncertain terms, we never, ever, ever do product placements. It's good <laughs> to remember, Frank, do that. you're learning. Very okay, good. thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to learn. Oh, and Jeez. Frank, when you put the uh, tray back in the drawer, please refill it with water. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll try to remember that. Oh, wait, I'm going to do quick some quick impressions for you and for you guys up there. Uh, Sally Field on a bowling team. My league likes me. They really, really like me. Thank you very much. Oh, another quick impression for you. Uh, the drummer from Def Leppard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, another quick one, real quick one for you. Uh, Charles Lindbergh, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Lindbergh. Uh, Frank, we don't have time for that kind of nonsense. Now we've got to, to find the invention okay, in here. Hey, what's, what's oh. this stuck to the bottom of the... Hey, wow. it's a Bogota from Barney Miller. TV's fish. Bernice, I'm telling you, I haven't had a good BM in weeks. Joel, your experiment this week is called First Spaceship to Venus. It stars an international cast that will leave you bilingually tortured. Well, bon appetit, mon ami. Good movie this time? I don't think so. Oh look, it's in total annihilation vision. You know, it's total vision. It used to be an 80% vision. Oh. <laughs> ah, NASA's third birthday. It's Estes Park, Colorado, and that's the Mars Snooper up there. Well, let's go home. Oh. I've looked at clouds from both sides now. A sneeze. Billions and billions of snot particles. First, spaceship on Venus. Oh, that's nice. Hey, 
Oh, we will come back here. Oh, oh. oh at least this will be good. Oh, wait, 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 come on. on. Grab this one. Grab it. See if it's not. Oh, 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 why? Why? Oh, he'll stay, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, Gordon. Oh. Oh. Joseph, come on. Oh, whoa. What a tease, a title tease. Yeah. Hugo, there goes Hugo. I'm gonna miss those titles. Yeah. In 1985, during the course of the work undertaken to irrigate the Gobi Desert, the goofy a strange desert? fragment of rock was discovered. Several remarkable features of this rock attracted the attention of the scientists engaged on the project. Ugh, stinky cheese. Really? Obtained a spool. A spool sample, if you will. Further analysis showed the material to be extraterrestrial in origin and not of human manufacture. And it had never been loved by its mother. Where did it come from? Well, that's how they make Wonder Rose chicken. Mm. Then somebody remembered that in June 1908 Somebody. in Siberia, yeah. an explosion could have occurred equivalent in force to a hydrogen bomb. An explosion visible within a radius of 350 miles. At the time, it was thought to have been caused by a giant meteor. 77 huh. years later, the ah. International oh, no. tried to determine ah. the trajectory oh, and the point of oh, impact yeah. and to find some debris of what was called the Tongu meteor. The Tongu meteor sandwich. Shortly afterwards, <laughs> under the auspices of the World Federation for Space Research, scientists meet to celebrate the anniversary of the establishment of the first space station on the moon. Professor Herringway from the United States makes a public statement about the famous meteor. Uh, got it. I hate it. It's famous. It's a meteor. Thank you. Our calculations indicate, confirmed also by the results recently transmitted to us by our colleagues on Luna 3, that the mysterious Tunga meteor was really a Looks spaceship. Like a Anderson puppet. From another planet which exploded in the air before landing. So I was wondering if you wanted to go have dinner maybe a little bit later on. The world 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 Emergency. When the rockets normally used for deceleration refused to function, mm -hmm. the captain of the spaceship decided to save what he considered was most valuable. Uh -huh. I'm referring naturally to this spool, which may contain a document of prime importance in an unknown language, naturally. recorded apparently by a magnetic process. Naturally. Hey, it's vanilla ice. An international grandpa. committee of expert linguists was offered access to the world's largest computer to try to decipher this strange language. Dear Diary, today I became a diary. This is Dr. Chen Yu. Gesundheit. Not only is he one of the world's leading authorities on languages, but also his biological work is of immense importance. Humanity is in debt to him for the technique of transforming inorganic substances into food. Look, he's got his trainee hat on. He directs the committee with world-famous mathematician Professor Sikarna, whose work rivals even that of Einstein. Morty Einstein. In the astrophysical domain, we've made rapid progress. And although we haven't deciphered the mysterious message, we have determined the ship's launching base. Ooh. At the moment, there can be no doubt. Uh -huh. This spaceship is goofy. was launched within our solar system, I can even say that it was definitely launched from within the path of our planet. Then why don't you? Uh, since there can be no life on Mercury, there is only one other planet that it could have come from. Uranus. I am referring to your sister planet, Venus, the morning star. Oh. Look, it's the most advanced Slurpee machine ever built. There's the um, dump mask. Would you like some curly fries with your gyro? Listen. Isn't that grand? I love this part. I can't understand it. Could you turn the bass down a little bit, please? Do that again. The elements existing on Earth. That's right. Hmm. It certainly is a chemico-physical analysis of the atmosphere and crust of the Earth. Earth. Don't interrupt me. Dolby. 
Oh, this is what the Tinas are listening to today. Oh. It's neat. That proves we were dressed too casually for this. What we have just heard are the first words of the inhabitants of another planet, a cosmic document. You're high. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Well, lunch, everybody? Yes, but... It's unfortunate that the magnetic spool was damaged oh. through the effect of the That's high temperature which prevailed aboard the cosmic vessel at the time of the crash. That's the reason we've only heard a part of the text. Mm. We must try to find a method to renovate the rest. It's me, Rule. First, we'll immerse the spool in a chemical catalytical medium mm. and after that, subject it to radiation. Can you? Because it's Yes, that's a very good idea. All that we have learned indicates that on Venus there is a highly developed life form. Yet I'm wondering why Venus stays silent. It's very surprising. They have trailer parts now there. Now we know a little of this language. We must, at every cost, communicate with her. I agree with you. It's high time we Not quite kissing up. Well then, I'd like to propose a course of action. I think the most logical thing to do would be to request that our governments consent to train all the radio and radar stations of the world and Venus. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. It's 8.15 and time for our crazy call. We're going to call Venus and pretend we're Pluto. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, cheese tortellini and a couple of shrimp poisson. This is apartment 12B. Could you send up some heat? Station calling Moon Space Station. Attention, please. Luna 3. Attention, please, Luna 3. Uh, quit playing Pong. There's a message coming in. Thank you. This is Station Luna 3. Major Matt Mason here. Station We're Luna bendy and flexible. Earth. No replies yet from Venus. Our signals are reaching the planet, but so far there's no reply. We'll keep you informed. Hugs and kisses, Bunny. Look out for the box spring! Whoa! 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 We are scientists. Get out of our way. Good morning, my friends. May I please have an interview with you? This afternoon, I have news of the watch utmost... It's coming around again. Look out, look out. As you probably know already, Somebody's our most modern spaceship, the Cosmos Trader, is now completed and ready to set forth on our exploration of space. Oh, here it comes again. Look out. Guys, space excuse me. Watch it. Hey, look out. Here it comes. Look ...of the Cosmos Trader. Instead of sending her to Mars, she will be directed toward the planet Venus. Oh, Venus. Venus. Have you any ideas of the date of the takeoff? One more question, if you don't mind, Professor. Do you think there's anybody living on Venus? Did you manage to make Boy, contact jump cut to the... No, my friends, Venus is silent, but we'll soon discover why. And who's going with you? Watch your backs, watch your backs. The other scientists will take part in this expedition. They are all first-class specialists. And snappy Chosen dressers. among the most qualified in their particular fields. Well over four feet they, tall. with others who are coming, will form the crew of Cosmos Trader 1. Alan Havy has company. Oh, that's nice. Night after night. They come out of the woods. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. It's intimate talk. Can we talk frankly? Holy moly, what a question. And it's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh! Oh, where is he? But wait, there's more. Sex Armageddon in Hollywood. Night After Night with Alan Havey. It's a pleasure being here. Tonight at 11, only on CTV, the Comedy Network. Enjoy. As you can see, the actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is 3 fourths of an inch by 3 fourths of an inch square. I'm Bob Knoll. My official title is Head of Auto Testing for Consumer Reports Magazine, but I really work for you. And there are over 200 people who work for you at Consumer Reports. We test and report on everything from toothpaste to TVs. Right now is a good time to try Consumer Reports because you can get a free trial issue with no strings attached. Here are the details. Call now for your free trial issue of Consumer Reports, the magazine that gives you all the pros and cons of a product, including price.
Call now for your free trial issue, then decide. When the bill arrives, pay it and get 11 more issues, 12 in all, including the annual buying guide issue, for just $20. Or write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. And with your paid subscription, you'll get two free books, our 1991 buying guide issue and the updated New Medicine Show. So put Consumer Reports to work for you. Call now. Call now for Consumer Reports. Call 1-800-726-6000. 1-800-726-6000. Weekdays, turn to CTV for passion, complicated plot twists, and guilt. Eh. Rhoda, it's no soap opera. Weekdays at 3 on CTV. Ooh. <laughs> well, all the units of propulsion are in perfect working order. Thanks, right. Lennon. The crew can now attend to their personal affairs. We'll start late tomorrow night. We'll fly following a hyperbolic trajectory. Good, sir. Make a last check. See you later, Doyle. Hmm. He's wearing a T-shirt. <laughs> Will you please make a thorough Smith recheck of the radar? Right away, Professor. This is Intervision calling the world. Hi, yes, this sir? is the world. The I'm not in right now, but... The but if... rocket. Never mind. Arriving now is Brinkman, the first American spaceman to land on the moon. Oh, I don't think so. Run! Run. Ladies and gentlemen... I have an important announcement to make. Oh, Intervision is going to present you minute by minute the historic launching of the Cosmostrator. We know very well how much you'd like to be here with us. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. that's impossible. The only ones admitted are those directly concerned with the countdown and final blast off of the rocket. So I will try to describe in detail everything that's taking place. Or use a camera. Intervision will bring to you the wonderful story of this great event. Ah, but here come the first members of the crew. Two live crew. Among them is Professor Durand, the chief engineer. He's a French scientist well known for his work on robots. I'll send it lots of love, Thank Dr. You. Durand. We'll load the crowd captain later on in the evening. Uh, that's, of course, it's all right with you. Yes, of course. I've checked out your electronic equipment. Good. Thanks, Ab. Professor Durand, report from Station A. Your celestial charts are ready. Thank you. Number four is ready. Go ahead, number 50. Hello, Durand. Oh, Durand. I'm glad to see you again. So am I. Still working as hard? How about showing me your latest creation in robots? How about tonight? you shutting up and letting me get in a word in edgewise? Omega. Come here, Omega. Is Benny, 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 Benny. Yes, Mr. Benny. Oh. Hey, you missed a spot. So whimsical. Omega, what's the weather report for the next 10 hours? Well, it's going to be 50 degrees and cloudy. Hold. The will rise for hmm? What? Four millibar. Four millibar. Four millibar. What? Wow, that's fantastic. It's babble. Your latest invention? Oh, nothing special. You can say that again, <laughs> small gadget. You're a lot too modest, Juro. What else did he oh, do? Oh, I don't think so. He reacts to stimuli in his environment and evaluates them with his electronic brain. That I means you can kick to him. Give Omega an elementary memory. What? what a stupid robot. Perhaps he might consent to play chess with me. Why, of course. Oh, no. Why shouldn't he? Oh, herring leg. How much Best does a herring weigh? <laughs> the have reached Urania. Eight of them. Scientists, mathematicians, and astrophysicists. Seven men and... And a woman. And the little the lady. of the expedition and has already spent... No, break. On a voyage of this kind, there'll be no room for excess baggage. Emotional baggage? Omigura. 30 hours left. 30 hours and the Cosmostrator will blast off into the unknown. Kind of grabs you by the popo, don't it? Now we will it. leave the air. In the next few hours, the crew of eight picked for the Cosmostrator will be unable to communicate with the world. They are going into a state of artificially induced sleep till the time comes for them to take off. This is to make sure that they will be in good physical condition for the effort to come. This is Intervision. Good sure afternoon. Is. Just try to forget me. Mommy, can I have a glass of water? Brinkman, in two minutes you'll be asleep, like all your colleagues, whether you want to or not. Oh, I want to, I want to. Now, I'm going to have you watch this movie called Mannequin. It stars Andrew McCarthy. You to see and hear your heart. Psychedelic. I'm very glad you're coming with us, Sumiko. What did you call me? That way I'll be near you. Your heartbeat is normal. Oh, 
tell her you love her, you big galoot. No, Brinkman, no. No, please, we mustn't speak of that ever. Let's talk about your pancreas. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's time for you to sleep too, Dr. Sumiko. Yes, you're right. Mm. Horny, hiney, homey, weeny. Killed it again. Oh, she's going to be watching my demon lover to put her to sleep. Let's see. This is Intervision. Intervision calling the world. Call your cable company Won't for Intervision. Won't be long now until the blast off. Tension is mounting among the scientists and technicians on the base. As zero hour approaches. It's always zero hour with these goons around. Everything is ready. All we're waiting for is the crew. And here they are. Hey. Motley crew. Passengers of the crew are finished. They are now boarding the vehicles, which will take them to the cosmos. The whole alphabet is there. They're going to spell out the words, goodbye, suckers. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we're an international task force. Goodbye. Let me get word. Bye. Bring your duct tape back for our outfits. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heaping helping of our hospitality. 51. 52, 53. Hey, it's the honeycomb hideout. 54, 55, kind of. 56. 57, this is the day the teddy bears fly to Venus. 59, 60. I can okay. count to 60. Rockets Prime ready for blast off. Yeah. Breathe calmly. Relax. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Up. Ignition system ready. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, seven, six, six five, six five. Yeah, I've done this. Four, stand by. Three. Hey, it's hell. Two. I'm sorry, Dave. One. Zero. Whoa! Wow. Hey, it's the mm. party. Mm. Light blooming ground flower, then keep away. Oh, we got a split, guys. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Hey, we got something neat to show you, Joel. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I think it's all done. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm gonna go get Joel. All right, I'll wait here. <coughs> this is gonna, oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love this. the neatest thing in the world. Come on, that's it. Keep right. your eyes closed. Right. Keep okay, closed. Okay, don't look. Don't look. Okay. You promise? All right, yes. All right. It's a super surprise with cream on top. You ready? Yeah. Open right. your eyes. Yep. Ta-da! Oh, surprise! Do you want me to open it? Uh, it's open already, you silly Shh. willy. Oh, well, what? What is it? Servo. <clears throat> It's the XT5000 Ramjet Super Configured Limited Edition Lightning Interface, Model L. Wow. The, well, does it talk? Oh, Joel, it's only the coolest robot in the world. It's our entry into the land of robotics. Oh, yeah, it is really cool. It's got the, well, this thingamajig here and this uh, kind of head thing. It's yeah, that's neat. the PowerGlide XL440 adapter plate. I made that. I soldered it. Wow, so I could, could I ask it a question? Uh, well, sure. sure. It'll make you feel better. Yeah. Um, well, he's probably so powerful, I could probably ask it just about anything, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually, I got a question here that I got. Okay, XT four thousand. Five thousand. I mean, XT five thousand. What integer can be the sum of itself and a number less than the positive square root of thirty? Go. Mm -hmm. right Here comes the answer. Cool, huh? Wow. Is it supposed to see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the way the XT communicates. He talks in foam. Oh, well, that's kind of an interesting way to interface. Kind of a bubble memory, huh? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well, here comes the answer. Yeah, uh, let me check it out here. What's it say, Crow? Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to read it yet. Uh, you guys, it's kind of messy. Oh, well, I guess all computers are bug-proof, huh? I'd like to be on the mailing list for one of those. Sign me up. 
<laughs> well, uh, it's starting to pile up here. Yeah. No. No. So, no. we thought you'd be happy for us. Uh. No, it's just, Can we see if it's commercial sign? No, I think we got commercial sign, you guys. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. Surprise! Say hello to the new kids on the block. Hello? Hello? Hiya! But don't panic. I mean, I'm only cutting your hands. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, let me catch my breath for a second. Now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? It's the kids in the hall. It'll be fun. Now, cut your head. <laughs> the kids in the hall, Saturday at 11 p.m. Eastern, only on CTV, the Comedy Network. I have to tell you about this method of exercise that helps you have a firmer stomach without sit-ups. It's called the Tummy Sizer Method, and it was originally developed by a European doctor. Just clip on the tummy sizer and extend and contract your stomach muscles, then relax. The tummy sizer helps make sure you do this isometric exercise correctly. You work out your abdominal muscles in just minutes a day, counting your reps as you firm your stomach. What's so fabulous about the tummy sizer method is that it works great even when you're in a relaxed position. That's why I love the tummy sizer method. It's the way I like to work out. For a firmer stomach without sit-ups, call toll-free now. From Fitness Quest. To order, call 1-800-733-3700. Use your credit card to save COD charges or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Tommy Sizer, P.O. Box 50, Department C, Los Angeles, California. Or call 1-800-733-3700. Why watch 23 movies, 60 hours of television, and go to 97 comedy clubs? When you can get all the comedy you need in just one hour on Short Attention Span Theater. It's Star of the Hour. It's Video Store. Stand up comedy like you've never seen it before. It's chock full of comedy from feature films and comedy entertainment news and tour dates. It's like 24 hours of CTV, the comedy network rolled into one. Hour, that is. So don't waste time. Watch Short Attention Span Theater and get a life. Weekdays at 6 p.m. on CTV, the comedy network. Sorry about the mess there, Joel. Well, that's okay. We'll clean it up later. All right. Ooh. Unit 3, calling you rain. You have Cosmos data on our radar screen. The appearance normal. We're feeling all right? Not feeling too good ourselves. Ah, riding the clouds, huh? I'll be fine as soon as I scrape my butt off the ceiling. them way behind us. I'm going to loosen this belt. It's uncomfortable. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Hey, be careful. Don't forget there's no gravity. We're in free fall now. No gravity? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love to laugh long and loud and clear. <laughs> Hey, you're pushing 50. You better get down here. Oh, let him go. Oh. That meter's high. Oh, Steve, your shin bone's sticking out. That was a dirty trick. Well, our first report says there's lots of good-natured ribbing going on up there. This is Luna 3. We are receiving you well. Over and out. Hello, Luna 3. We hear you loud and clear. How are we coming in? Minus Over. Two plus five. Course normal. Course normal. Our course is exactly hyperbolic. No deviations. We are passing within 1,200 miles of you. This is Luna 3. We have established visual contact with you. Hmm. That's the Sinus Roars crater. Hope there's a good place to park. Hmm. On the top of it is Luna 3. Mm. There's the solar reflector. They're signaling us. Oh, Blue Moon, you saw me standing alone. Without a dream in her heart. 
Without a love of her own. That's where her husband fell. I brought him back to the camp, but he was already dead. He was all busted up outside. We you know, Sumiko is a wonderful woman. This is Luna 3. Quit clowning around and get back I've to work. I picked up unexpected swarms of meteorites on our radar. Their present trajectory shows that they may cross your path and be very dangerous. We are receiving you. But we can only hear your chin. Here are the trajectory coordinates and orbital velocity. Alpha X, 7 degrees, 2 minutes. Beta Epsilon, 48 degrees, 42 minutes. And now here's Gordy with the weather. Listen, I've had an extremely urgent message from Luna 3, a meteorite warning. Says you. Professor Sikana. Here's the latest meteorite report. Alpha X, 7 degrees, 2 minutes. Beta Ypsilon, 48 degrees, 42 minutes. A meteorite swarm should reach us in 48 hours at the latest. Hey. That is, if there are no Isn't he I'm watching Mindy? Keep yeah. close radio contacts with yeah. Luna 3. And the seventh caller will get a free album. Luna 3 have received your meteorite warning. We'll be sending you regular coordinates of our course. No. This is the beginning of my personal logbook. Mr. Toothbrush, no you're the only one center. who really understands the me. Trader. The computer is keeping us on our course. In case of unforeseen circumstances, it can take immediate decisions to alter our speed or direction. It's this electronic brain will be our pilot for the next 30 days. And our friend. Because no human being could handle the immensely complex machines of the spaceship by himself. Except Steve Allen. To now. We have covered a distance of 2,600,000 miles. Your mileage may vary. Dr. Amigura is noting our reactions carefully and keeping close check on our health and well-being. The special liquid food, which can easily be absorbed in a state of no gravity, is proving very successful with all of us. And she's got a lot of fun stuff to keep us busy, too. Mmm, French dressing. I love it. Our chief engineer spends most of his time in his machine shop, testing his automats over and over again. Oh, come on, that's a rack tumbler. It is thanks to them and to the fact that they are in perfect running order that we are relieved of many tiresome tasks. Like acting. Our expert in cybernetics has to be everywhere. He's one of the key men of the expedition. All right, all right, I'll get it. I'm coming. Professor Sikana devotes all his time to the message from Venus. He and Chen Yu are trying to decipher the damaged spool, which means they spend long hours at the Marrocks. In little yellow boots. The electronic brain is working night and day, but no one can be sure what the result will be. Da! Commander is keeping a constant check on our course. Well, this is the last of the bathroom yeah, tissue. was Ooh. active last night. It switched the rockets on for nearly 17 seconds. Ooh, I'm impressed. Perhaps to avoid the meteor swarm. We won't be running into it till tomorrow. <laughs> it looks like your automats don't have the same idea that you do. They make sandwiches. Dear Toothbrush, Professor Orloff is an enthusiastic chess player. Oh. He has beaten all of us, but I think he's found his master in Nanaka. <laughs> King me. King G8. <laughs> Line? Line, please. Line! King E6. Ha, ha, ha. Take that, pink boy. It's amazing. He plays his endgame wonderfully. Boy, do I stink. I thought that I had got him, but you see, he's put his king on e6. Wow. And I'm forced into the corner at h8. Good evening, and welcome to Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Just a, just yeah, a yeah. joke. Yeah. Yeah. E7, checkmate, next move. Ooh, I'll alert the media. He's a cookster. <laughs> that is the tenth match that I've lost. I should give up, I guess. That's the spirit. I would suggest that you make an improvement in Omega. Hmm? Oh, really? If he only had a heart. A brain. He would a let home. Olaf Don't, know. Don't you think you could be able to do that? Hmm? Hmm? Just a little bit of heart, Jerome. Hmm? Yes, I think I could do that. 
Oh, he'll do anything to win. Oh. The dryer's off kilter. Woo! Oh, Ronnie's done. Eyes are up. Erwin Allen presents... Chock full of nuts. Guess somebody forgot to set the parking brake. Big one. It's on the emergency gyro. Papamatic pops the dice, pop the six, and you move twice. Race your men around the track and try to send the others back. That's Papamatic trouble. I'm gonna get that. I'm here, Steve. Oh! Hold me, Steve, again. Set your leg. Ooh. Oh, Ronnie's are done. Ken, you and Sicardo are all right. What about us? Oh. How could this happen? There. I thought that the Cosmos Trader was able to avoid meteor swarms. Automatic. Now you can play flag football anytime. She didn't react quickly enough. She was regulated to a shower of under mass eight. That was why we had to switch on the emergency. Yeah, time. yeah, whatever. How much cost deviation? What, personally? Zero and four, carry the seven. Like we're in debt up to our eyeballs. 12 degrees, 17 minutes. Our speed, constant, 8.2 miles a second. My hair, fully coiffed, sir. The principal swarm will be on us soon. If we continue at maximum speed, it'll mean disaster. Got the stop that nutty horn we're section. We're going to decelerate. Random Acts of Variety. It's random, it's Acts. It's cable's first comedy variety show. Fridays at 10 on CTV, the comedy network. If you think there's a longer lasting shine than tough acrylic future, think again. For long lasting acrylic protection, nothing outshines future. For years, scientists have wondered who were the dinosaurs. Were they the great brutish beasts of lore? Or might they have been gentle creatures capable of great caring, warmth, and sensitivity? Ta-da! Oh, hi. How you doing? How you doing? Earl, this is your baby. Hi, I'm the baby. Brand new, just out. Gotta love me. Come on. Gotta love me. Dinosaurs, the next big thing, premieres tonight on ABC TV. Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp. Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp here with my trusty troop of chimps fighting off the evil forces of chump and having more fun than a barrel of monkeys. So if you've got a monkey on your back, CTV doesn't monkey around. Ah, uh, enough with the monkey jokes. Where's my agent? I tell you, ever since Magnum P.I., I don't amount to a hill of beans in this two-bit town. I'm a serious actor. I studied Shakespeare. Gesundheit. Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp. Saturday mornings at 8 on CTV, the Comedy Network. Well, I can't think of a better bunch of people to die Reading with. motors aren't working. What's the matter, Jovan? Uh, they're not working, sir. Come on. Just put a penny in the fuse box, Baldy. Come on. A meteor fragment has damaged the deceleration unit. We'd have to go outside and try and repair it right away. Outside? In this weather? How long before the main swarm hits us? I can't say. It may be on us any second now. Brinkman, will you help me? Professor Sikana, Chen Yu, are you all right? No bones broken. That's you know, fine. I hurt my head. Give me our present deviation, direction, coordinates, and corrected course. In that order. A human and a salt shaker fused into one. That'll put some spice in his life. <laughs> so, Third one. Uh, sorry. Um, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Just go in the suit. Oh. And now it's time for the $64,000 question. Oh, what a time to get the whooping cough. Whoa. Hey, he's transparent now. <laughs> Ow! You know, uh, Bob doesn't mat very well, does he? Mm -hmm. huh. Watch out. 
Everybody fasten your belts. And why don't you stop breathing down my neck? No. Uh-uh. 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 No, 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 no. Stand by. Hey, look at him squirm out there. <laughs> That's our pop. Is it safe to start the motors yet? Did somebody shoot that turkey? Repair is completed. You're on back. <laughs> seem to hang motions. On black construction paper. Disturbances caused by the planet. Radio contact with Earth is no longer possible. Hey, my boo boo's all better. Too much interference. I can't hear a thing. Keep trying. He's right, you know. Uh, Alpha X, 32 degrees, 8 minutes. Beta Y, 7 degrees. You suck my battleship. You know, they're backstage all of a sudden. What are you doing? It's a bugger. I'm making a heart for Omega. Ten consecutive defeats of driving our friend crazy. I want him to enjoy his favorite game. Hmm, game. thoughtful. I would like you to do something also for me. It would be nice to see you eat occasionally. It's Western French. I, I made it myself. <laughs> Sicardo said exactly the same thing. Poison the doctor. What do you want? Uh, please, not now. Go. Ah. Your health is my responsibility, and you haven't eaten for days. I haven't a second to spare. Not even for creamy dill and chive? How do you like my new milk synthesizer? Wow, Steve always drinks my dressing at home. Well, it's time to cut my hair and get into a pantsuit. What? Sumiko. You mustn't insist. He's nervous. He's having a very hard time with that spool. You understand. Oh, that's great. Who are you, anyway? Night E6. Check. Does this guy have a job? I don't think so. He doesn't like that. It hurts him. Think e ink. Congratulations. You've won at last. <laughs> oh, neat classical end play. I think you deserve to win. Oh, quit kissing up. He plays a good game. He's not very easy to beat. <laughs> but I did it at last. Man has defeated the machine. Yeah, too yeah. much heart. That's right. Maybe I care too much. Want to try? Why not? Will you all come to the Marex, please? That's how it starts. Hmm. That's a cosmic document. All right. Hope there's no postage due. Light, bright, making things with light. Out of sight, making things with light, bright. Hey, it's a John Tesh song. We have hmm. finally deciphered the last part of the spool. It gives complete meaning to the cosmic document. It says... <laughs> Well, it, uh, it gets better. Well, that's neat, but we got to get back to the lunchroom. I will translate. We will initially subject the planet to a very intense bombardment of radiation. The conquest and occupation of the Earth will then present no difficulty. When the ionization oh, intensity is by one half, mm -hmm. the final extermination phase can start. Hmm. This can only mean an attack against our planet. With timpanies. An invasion by the inhabitants of Venus. A cosmic document was not intended for us to read. It's a cold-blooded blueprint of destruction. Maybe we must should, inform uh... the Earth. I'll try and make contact. But I... No, let him try. Will it do the Earth any good to know what we know? The well, Earth is in danger. We must warn them. 
Well, at least we should no. try to go... Our planet was in peril before they discovered the spool and nothing happened. He's That's right. It's argument, a... As we haven't any idea how the Venusians calculate time. Well, at least If we the can... Earth knew of the terrible danger threatening her, unrest and even hysteria would spread like wildfire. From pole to pole, the whole world would be in a panic. That's two poles. Huh? No. No, Olaf. I'm convinced you're wrong. Oh, just shut him out like that. For sure. years and years, the whole of the human race faced the danger of an atomic war. Yes. And they survived. Yes. Not through ignorance, but through knowledge. Yes. Because they knew what the danger was. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. No. Hmm? There won't be a panic. No! Can you? Don't you agree with me? I'm sure that if we meet the inhabitants of Venus, we'll be able to convince them that it would be folly to start that war. Yeah. Right. Noah, try to contact the Earth. Uh, they're not home. I left a message. I can't get through. Too much disturbance from Venus. Our signals are distorted. The Earth won't hear us. I said the Earth won't hear us. I'm filled with shame. Well, what do you say? Should we turn back to Earth? Oh, and end this dream vacation? No. I don't no. think so. Never. Cowardly retreat? Oh, please, sign me up for that. All right, then, we've got a war to fight. Devon, our speed. 31,000 miles per hour. In three days, we reach Venus. Good. Tell her, check our course. Yes, it's good, isn't All it? Off? Yes, that'll be good. The latest Let's reading. roll, guys. Oh, we're ready to get out of steadily. I'll recheck the new truck. Mr. Crusher, take us out of war. CTV presents Poker, Bilko style. Poker? Oh, is that anything like old maid? You're in with Sergeant Bilko, Saturday and Sunday at 4.30 on CTV, the comedy network. <laughs> Welcome to Avery Island, Louisiana, where folks never take anything with a grain of salt. At least not when they could liven it up with a few drops of Tabasco sauce. The lively taste of Tabasco sauce. Don't keep it bottled up. It's back. It's more frightening than before. Stephen King's epic, The Stand. Experience the terror of 350 pages you weren't allowed to see before. This $24.95 hardcover is yours for just $7.95 when you enter the chilling world of the Stephen King Library. Imagine an exclusive collection of horror. Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Christine, The Chart Toppers, the books that became blockbuster movies. All in original hardcovers at just $14.95 each, all with a cancel anytime guarantee. But if you want the terror to last, we'll send you a new volume, including King's new releases, about every seven weeks. Enjoy each for ten days. There's never an obligation to buy. Possess the stand with no risk. The Stephen King Library, where the master is coming back to haunt you. Call 1-800-421-8600 now to get the stand. Keep it and pay just $7.95 plus shipping and handling. Future volumes will come, one every seven weeks, each with a 10-day free trial. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. If you like your comedy up close and personal... Oh, cool, my parents are thrilled about that. Then welcome to the club. Party! I'd rather pass a kidney stone. <laughs> oh, it's coming to me. Join host Will Schreiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's Funniest Comics. Any hecklers? The best of the U.S. Comedy Festival. Ah! Two drink minimum. Saturday at 6 on CTV. Hello, and welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Crow. And I'm Tom Servo, and we're the hosts of the all-new Match Game 78. So let's meet our guest, Brad Summers. Hey. hey! Whoa! Oh, yeah, it looks like a foreign ship coming into our airspace. Gambot, give me rocket number nine, quick. Uh-oh, looks like we got company. Well, I'm going to go get Joel. Good idea. Oh! oh. Oh, no, 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 no,
Whatever you do, don't turn around. Just don't turn around. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We lost Gypsy. Oh, oh. No. where's we Joel? He'd know what to do. Oh. Help me, you gregarious, galvanized garbage can. Oh, the pain, the pain. Danger, danger, Crow T Robot. Danger. No, no, no. Come on, Crow. You got me doing it now. Oh, Get a grip, sorry. boy. We have to remain rational. This is just one of the many sordid alien visitors that fly by, exchange dialogue with us for roughly uh, two and a half minutes, and then leaves. It's no big deal. Oh, oh, oh. I, I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. Oh, buy me, buy me. Oh, Just bro. stop it, Tom. Doing, doing, Come on, doing. get a hold of yourself. It's a common gorilla. Probably one of those horrible animal experiments they use to shoot into space. Just a big, old, dumb gorilla. The key with these creatures is to talk nice to them. Animals can sense fear and rip your arms out of your sockets and show them to you in a moment's notice. Watch this. Hey, boy. Here, kitty, kitty. Hey, Coco. How's it going, boy? Hey, he's going for it, See? bro. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Just relax, you big, dumb doll. Still yeah. bummed out that humans evolved to be a higher species. Yeah. Yep, you idiot. That's, That's right. right. Still dumber than a bag full of hammers, aren't you? Yeah. Now, listen, Tom. Okay. I know you're scared out of your wits, but I need you to sing that gorilla a song. What's that song you sang uh, last Wednesday at Vespers? Uh, oh, sweet mother of mine, but I don't understand. Yeah, but no bad. buts, Tom. Just start singing, boy. Okay. Oh, nice gorilla. Oh, nice boy, you crummy monkey with mad and awful. Hey, come watch it. Oh, sweet mother of mine, tis only for you I pine. I'll try to get bail, and I'll drive up to jail, and I'll spring that sweet mother of mine. You sang that at Vespers? World <laughs> Take it easy, you guys. Take a breath. Come on, take a breath. Oh, we got Five thousand. Really, yeah. It was really there. Yeah. 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 It looked like Gino Benelli. Yeah. All our efforts Terrible. to communicate with the Earth via Luna 3 have been unsuccessful. I love you, Goofy Toothbrush. We have started to accelerate by means of our rocket motors. Professor Herringway is guiding the ship into an elliptical orbit around Venus. We are now a satellite of this silent planet. Well, tell me something we, we don't We are still know. trying, but in vain, to establish radio contact with her inhabitants. A thick wall of clouds surrounds the planet. Good morning. 3,500 miles. Thank you, Sulu. First analysis, Venus atmosphere. 27% carbon dioxide, 14% formaldehyde. The air, the air is no everywhere. The atmosphere poisonous. Now, we're faced with a difficult decision. As you know, we can only land and take off once. Uh -huh. No point in taking any unnecessary chances. Uh -huh. So one of us has got to go ahead as scout. 2,000 miles. We're close enough. Now I'll go in the crawler copter. Oh, the crawler copter. That's your answer for everything. You've got to try and find a landing place for us. We'll stay in orbit at 150 miles altitude, all right? The crawler copter's ready. Oh, everything's better in the crawler copter. What? What? Hey, hey, cut it out. You're, you're making me cry. Well, well now let's don't be far. Not you, too. Action stations. Action stations, everyone. Action stations. Figures sold separately by Miko. Seven hundred and fifty miles. Don't do that. Stand by. We are now entering the atmosphere of Venus. Attention. Ooh, a hostile planet will put me on the guest list. sir. I made this from a soft-serve yogurt machine. I call it the Fentuzler. Well, that don't beat all, I'll tell you. Miles altitude. Right. speed is 4.3 miles a second. Are you ready, Brinkman? <laughs> ah, the oh, guy's lunch meat. Hi, Bill. <laughs> He's got no idea what I'm saying to him. You look good. <laughs> He's really? dead. Good luck. <laughs> we'll never see his family again. Way to go, sport. He'll be vaporized within the hour. We're with you. <laughs> Sucker. Hey, this baby's really comfy. I wonder if the radio works. Franklin, 
Hello. Hello, Brinkman. Hello? What's the matter with his receiver? I'm not getting you. I'm getting the heart channel. There's something wrong with your receiver. Can you hear me now? I can't understand you. Something's wrong with your transmitter. My transmitter? Look, Hello. Dickweed. What's the matter with our transmitter? Heavy electrical disturbance. We're completely blocked out. Hello. Brinkman. What is it, Brinkman? I knew you I shouldn't have switched me? from AT&T. Hey, I, I'm flying through some confetti. Uh, apparently, they're throwing me a surprise party. Woo-hoo! The radar indicates that the surface is extremely mountainous. I can't see anything. I'm completely surrounded by thick clouds. Mostly produced by my own body. Yes, I can see land, boys. I can see land. Land traffic is heavy over I-94 outbound. Hello. Hello. I can't hear you. I'm landing. Here. And I can't get up. Brinkman is not receiving us. I can't make contact. So that's a bad thing? Well, at least we have our Ewok suits to cheer us up. <laughs> 24,000 feet. The papers want to know whose shirts you wear. on a witch. We've secretly switched their planet with Folger's crystals. Amaga, you take the lead. Go on. This planet is a cookie, a crunchy cookie. Yeah, yeah, queen to queen's pawn for. I'm right behind you. I don't understand. I'm puzzled by these strange flashes of light which we keep seeing. I'm also bemused and charmed by this plucky planet. Bursting all around us. What do you make of them, Olaf? Flavor bugs. My opinion. The atmosphere in this area is ionized. But what's the cause? The atomic radiation. Then that means that they're attacking us. We must fly lower. We must get below this bank of clouds if we want to establish contact with Brinkman. And you should all call each other before the next costume party. Brinkman calling. Cosmos Trader, please answer me. This Over. isn't funny anymore, sirs. I'm bolting. This is bogus. Oh, poison gas for atmosphere? Give me more of that. Radiation. Eight. How long can we stay here? About three minutes ago. Eight minutes maximum. Turn back, Amadeus. Beedy beedy, thanks for the permission, jerk. Cosmos Trader. Godless traitor. I don't hear you. Come on, guys. Stop it. Stop mocking me. Hello. Hello. You hear me? This blasted radioactive forest won't let radio waves through. Go on, Robert. Go on. Beady, beady, beady. Keep going. Beat cheeks. Keep on. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. They're attacking us. It turns out he was flying a pinto copter. Do you hear me? The crawler copter's exploded. A flash. Oh, I think that was probably Bob cashing it in. What was it? I don't know. The computer shows a pressure wave. Apparently an explosion. Distance, 120 miles. Break. Oh, it could be a signal from the Venusians. Or Bob's fiery death. We'd better land at once as best we can. Delaware, make a careful check on our position. And try to contact Brinkman again. Yeah, yeah, when I get to it, when I get to it. Omega, back here. Quickly. Hey, the carpet broke. Oh, boy, he's fallen into a Super Bowl test chamber. Chopper always leaves you laughing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it looks like we got visitors, boys. Come on, 
smart boy. Try your hand. Come on. Go ahead. I sit on the right hand of the devil. I am the evil incarnate. Go ahead. Hey, I'm tougher than you. Hey, I could get about a buck for this. I'm keeping it. I wonder if they're good eating. You could boil them in beer. Come back. We have yet to taunt you. We are the planet of novelty items. Stand by. Deceleration rockets. Thrust. 18. 21. 24. 42. Huh, huh. Hey, go long. It's Roger Ramjet and his American Eagles. Take two proton pills. Hey, hey, I'm down here. <laughs> hey. I'm glad you're back. We make excellent stocking stuffers. You will come to know that in time. I know how to cheer him up. Tickle machine, tickle machine. Get him, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a sophisticated intellectual game show. I think, actually, I'm going to break wind. Well, maybe not. Whose line is it anyway? Saturdays at midnight on CTV. I'm, I'm Jack. Jack. Benning. Weekdays at 1.30 on, uh, um... On TGIF, there's a giant new show coming. But first, it's an all-new Full House. Everybody! Then the biggest stars to hit television in 60 million years. Ta-da! Not the mama, not the mama, not I really the mama. wish you'd grow out of this. On the premiere of Dinosaurs. Then, it's the good, the bad, and the Urkel on Family Matters. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then, get ready for the perfect firefighters. Fry bars in your left hands. Perfect strangers. It's all new tonight. I'm just to draw balance and it's starting. I've been an accountant for eight years. I've taught at colleges with traditional programs. And now I teach accounting at DeVry. And for the first time, I really feel like I'm preparing students for a career. DeVry brings real world experience to the classroom with involved teachers like Sherry Elkin. Let me put my experience to work for you. Call now, 1 800 247 7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Once the game starts, you're very serious about what you have to do. You have to be mad. You have to be mean. When I was in my playing days, I used to cork my bats with live rodents. <laughs> Bakai. Bolster. Heyman. Sports Monster. 6.30 Eastern Saturday. Lock it. Looks like a bad neighborhood. Plaster doggy do? Rubber vomit? What is this? Planet of Johnson Smith. Hey, these prices are quite reasonable. His helicopter exploded. Oh. Poor old Brinkman. There's the cause. There's a high tension line underground. You're on. Get the crawlers out of the way, or the next time the voltage mounts, exactly the same thing will happen to us. Oh, it just looks like a big fish. I am home. Oh, you wonderful, wonderful, spunky little robot. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God? Say, oh, my God? Brinkman, we oh. thought you were dead. I am filled with life. Get to know me, friends. Why? What, what do you mean? There's a high-tension line over there. Oh. <laughs> now, your machine blew up just because you landed right on top of that surface power line. Oh, oh that's All rich. All we have to do is to follow it. And it will probably lead us to the inhabitants of Venus. Oh, or you not. <laughs> There's no point in trying to do that. I've already found the inhabitants of Venus. Uh-huh. And I've brought one of them back for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, they're on sale. They're really reasonable, too. What is it? It's art. You bring your preconceptions to it. I wonder if it is a form of life. Great. You put another I'll life form in his pocket. Hmm. All right, Chen Yu. Why are you and still here? Feed it. Let's go and try to follow that line. Okay. Still feel stupid? Look at it go. Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah, here I come. Beady, beady, beats all. That's the way these clowns order me around. Please come in. Crawler, please come in. Grab it. Would you like fries with that? Line. Something very strange here. A white sphere that looks like a an immense golf ball. Uh, I think he meant goofball. And it's teed up. 
looks like a Schlesinger 9. What a hell of a lie. It's incredible. You think it's a machine, Olaf? Well, I can't say yet. I don't know. Everything here is so strange. Why do they have it's a bent coat hanger on their mirror? Is that foreshadowing? Language. Let's <laughs> hope that soon we'll be able to read it. <laughs> and perhaps we'll understand. You know, we've become Hold fast on. friends. Let me know when you've got your instruments ready. I'll need all the figures I can Pupils. get. Okay, Sakara. Good. I knew he'd say that. Hello, stay in close contact with us. Very well, Professor. I am looking at Venus on the observation screen of the Cosmos Trader. Everything is strangely quiet. Is this the calm before the storm? Why don't the Venusians answer? Why do I talk into my toothbrush? Or are these metallic brush? insects really the masters of this planet? Ah, who cares? Chen Yu is working day and night to solve the mystery of these strange creatures. Tonight, big sale at Bill Farber Oldstown. We've got hot dogs for the kids and suckers. Speaking of suckers, look at this sucker over here, 1928 Porter. Hey, come on down. What a day, huh? Hey, how are the sea monkeys coming? Hey, give me a crack at that, huh? Come on. We have investigated your strange inhabitants. They're completely harmless. They're not a form of life. When I think how scared I was in that hole. <laughs> your discovery is more significant than you think. I put one of the microcrystals in the Malax. Listen. <laughs> That's really significant. Can't you get the station in clearer? Don't you have a converter box or some tinfoil to put on the antenna? Rabbit ears might do it. Oh, that's sad. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Those were the voices of the Venusians. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. I would say that these strange metallic insects had a way of storing sound in that crystalline oh, nuclear. Yeah. Are you trying to tell us no. that the Venusians used these insects to record both speech and sound? That's right, but that's fantastic. No, well, thanks. Yes, like but it's know. true. Well, that would mean that the hole which Brinkman fell into is a chamber of archives. <laughs> oh, right, and they were all librarians. Of, of this planet. But then where can the inhabitants be? They certainly saw a spaceship land. They couldn't have missed it, yet nothing happened. Well, maybe there's a ball game on. Nothing at all. And my machine blowing up. You call that nothing? Yeah. I need more figures. Weird figures. More data. Strange and figures. And especially more of those metallic insects. More subs. The research program is going according to plan. We are all fascinated by the vitrified forest. And it likes us, but too. our spacesuits are so heavy that working outside the ship is difficult. The investigation of the power lines leading to the white sphere and measurement of tension changes is done by oscillograph. The storms which whip across Venus only make the work harder. You know, these winds only make the work harder. That's where the lines lead to, all right. There's no doubt. Yep, I know. I was a meter man once. That's it. Yep. Chen Yu was collecting samples of the sand carried by the storm. At least he Sometimes thought it was they sand. are radioactive. Ooh. Sometimes they are not. Sometimes they are soft and squishy. For traces of light. The long Venusian night is always preceded by a violent storm. Santa Ana coming in. Tea time, star date 5239.5. Then the outside work must stop, and we spend our time studying what we have found so far. Uh, then we go inside to see what the carpenters are doing with that Italian quarry tile. Uh, Do you think this vitrified forest is a biological formation? You gotta tighten the wing nut down on that camera. Why not? <laughs> yeah. It could come from a dried up seabed. You're wrong. This is not our secret fort. Formation. We're gonna keep Chen Yu out, okay? Professor Sikana has been feeding figures and data into the electronic brain, and he now has some conclusions. He says that the vitrified forest is an enormous energy projector. Oh, he does, capable does of destroying he? You believe all life within a radius of millions yes. of miles. That it was built by the inhabitants of Venus. Yes. Nah. This vitrified forest was made to be a weapon of aggression. Wish we had one of them weapons of aggression. But then something went unexpectedly wrong. 
Bush was elected. Perhaps they decided to disarm. Oh, you think that's funny? <laughs> I'm afraid it was more serious than that. The metal insects you found for us shows something very significant. That's very interesting. But, but stupid. stupid. Go on, tell us more, Professor Sakarna. Oh, don't patronize me. I do not me. yet have all the facts. But I think that a terrible catastrophe took place on Venus. Yeah, you guys are right. It's a certain stage, and I can't get any further. It's chaotic. It's like, it's like everything was broken. Someone give me some now, juice really or something. Now, if really was a catastrophe, it's changed the face of the whole planet. Then it was so huge a catastrophe as to be absolutely beyond our powers of comprehension. So you're saying it was really big. We can only solve this problem. Duh. By means of further systematic research, take this great white sphere to which all these power lines lead and whose function we don't understand. Please. It appears to be a giant transformer unit. Or else it is a... A force field generator. You really have no clue, do you? Another strange thing is that there is periodic tension in the main power line. I, I feel it. I would even suggest that there might still be Venusians inside the sphere. Oh, you or would, would the you? the colossal catastrophe that befell their planet. They could still be trying to send an SOS to another station. What should we do? I'm going to fix my hair. We must go out and explore. We'll follow the main power line to the other end. Yes. Oh, that... Huh? Hey, not that quickly. It's a planet of caviar. A Super Bowl world. Hi, I'm Fred Willard. Watch me on Comics Only, or I'll come to your house when you're out and rearrange your furniture. <laughs> Comics Only, day 30 on CTV, the comedy network. And bend and stretch and reach and draw. When you don't have the right tools to clean with, housework becomes quite a workout. Now Rubbermaid makes a whole line of cleaning products to help you handle housework. Don't you wish everything was made like Rubbermaid? I'm trying to call overseas. I think I remember the number, but... Well, I'm in So I call the operator. But it's another long-distance company, and she can't give me an international number. Hey, AT&T does. She says, you're not dealing with AT&T. If you miss dealing with AT&T, it's easier than ever to come back. Just call 1-800-643-5600 right now, and we'll switch you back for free. They kept saying how much money I'd save. Then I get the first bill. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought it was a typo. I mean, where were the big savings? People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. You can too. It's simple. Just call now and come back for free. Takes longer getting through, but I'm saving a ton, right? Wrong. You gotta read the fine print. Well, not be I couldn't believe it. You're not dealing with AT&T. Oh, I am now. 1-800-643-5600 for dependable crystal clear AT&T long distance service. Call now and we'll switch you for free. You couldn't pick a better time to come back. Introducing the revolutionary Roller Ruler. Roller Ruler, an amazing high-tech geometric tool that is five instruments in one. The Roller Ruler's patented rolling mechanism allows you to draw perfect vertical lines to any length. And the multi-hold measuring edge lets you draw straight parallel lines as close or as far apart as you want. For horizontal lines, simply roll the ruler one or two centimeters apart and draw your line. Now you have perfect graph paper. And look at this. The Roller Ruler is a compass. Now you can make perfect circles of any size. Use it as a T-square for drawing exact small dimensions. As a protractor, Roller Ruler can produce and measure any angle with amazing precision. The Roller Ruler replaces all old-fashioned instruments. You'll find new uses for the Roller Ruler every day. Roller Ruler is completely guaranteed. And here's how to order. Credit card orders, call 1-800-726-6000 or send $9.95 for one or $15.95 for two plus $3 shipping to Roller Ruler, P.O. Box 20, Department C, Los Angeles, California. That's 1-800-726-6000. You tell them. I'm telling them. <laughs> you tell me to tell them and I'll tell them. That's telling them. Catch Steve Allen weekdays at 1 on CTV. Motorific Freeway and Super City sold separately. G.I. Joe Action Car, G.I. Joe sold separately. We have been driving for nearly seven hours now. We are following the energy line and so far we haven't found a trace of life. Says you. Got to end what a dope. Uh, Herring wave. 
Shall we keep going? Yeah, why not? Hey, Joel, what's a herring way? About a pound. <laughs> Looks like they're driving through polyunsaturates. Looks like the town of Bedrock. Oh, it's still the Folgers flavor crystals, I think. It's a place right out of history. Hey, it's an interstellar Stuckies. We're still going forward. Keep on following us and watch out. What's that? Hey, it's Trump Casino. Uh, no, not natural forms. They must have been buildings of some sort. Ooh, they look like real comfortable buildings. Oh, get me a lease. Like big frozen loogies. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Huh. Hell from on high. That's not supposed to happen. Hey, doesn't Superman live here? Well, if he does, he's got freezer burn. There must have been as high a temperature here as on the sun. Or Universal Studios and back Every lot. living thing was destroyed by an incredible catastrophe. It was one humdinger of a doozy, it was. Or not. Oh, come on, why can't I have a line? What are you thinking, Sumiko? The color red? No. Off the damage. <laughs> she had to stay on her lithium. Hey, look, they got outer space dance belts on. <laughs> What was your first flute, butthead? I agree with you. Come on, Abigail. We're going in. Come on, we got a job to do. Maybe I care a little too much. Beady, beady, beady. What's in it for me? from the beginning. Someone with a very different vision made this movie, guys. Yeah, it's from a book by Lewis Carroll. Uh-oh, it's a giant baby's crib mobile. Let's get it. Kind of cute. Well, at least we know they like to disco. Over here, there's a shaft. John Shaft? That John Shaft's one bad... Hey, shut, shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Shaft. Shaft. You dig him, shut up. It's a busted tiny time pill down there. In the huge control room. But who is servicing it? Say. Since it's apparent that this whole installation is still under tension. Sexual tension. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's saying, oh my god. Ooh. Somebody really cut the magma down there. How strange, what could it be? It might be the missing power source. You look at them. I'm Could bitter. Be a kind of organic life. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, ah, note to myself. Don't throw rocks at magma. Uh, uh, that was me. I'm sorry. You may want to start running now. Oh, a planet. You step on it, it starts to crumble. Ooh, I want to go. Nice matchup. I'm gonna stop. I'm, I'm gonna fight this thing. Ooh. Uh -oh. oh, this plant's got a saggy diaper that leaks. Ooh, I wanna swim in that oozy blue smoky stuff. Ooh. Up the ramp, so they go quick. Hey, where's Steve McQueen when you need him? Ooh. Looks like the maple wants them. Beady, this is getting weird. Buck. Looks like they're up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> or a plunger. Come on, oh, give them a break. They just stepped on a rock. Looks 
like a carrot Finley fountain. <laughs> Looks like it had a hell of a grip on her. <laughs> well, that's what they say melts in your mouth, not on your planet. The Mars bar. Oh. You know, I'm not hungry anymore either now that I think about it. Building block of the future. I'd say Mrs. Butterworth is going to have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. With a name like Schmuckers, you really get the feeling for real preserves. You wipe your feet before you come in here, young man. You know what they need? Some kale pectin. Yep. <sighs> now it's leaking baked beans. Oh, nobody told us there'd be burnt newspaper at the end of this road. No. Hey. Oh, you got a little over in the uh, you got, uh, We'll find a way out. And Margaret must be around here somewhere. Don't shoot, Dad! Don't shoot! I'll go ahead. See, hmm. pays to experiment. Yep. Yeah. It's a quicker picker up. That's it. Cleans up in a jiffy. Looks like someone stands corrected on that don't shoot line. What was that? About a million pounds of duty is what it was. Where are the others? I can't see them. Beady, beady, Spunky, beady. come back. Come back, Spunky. Well, that scene was a load of crap. <laughs> of Altier 7. Spotlight dance. I see what Duran meant now. It's a model they used to work out their plans of attack on the Earth. A good thing the Venusians could never get far away from the bathroom. It said that they would first subject the planet to a highly intense radiation bombardment. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Thanks to this device, they calculated how atomic beams could be directed to our planet. I think you're quite right. And directly beneath us is their operational headquarters. <laughs> Joy in Cookville. Speaking of joy, let's go. The magic toothbrush will save them. Go, Tuppy, go! And we'll be right back after this message. Hi. Ed Hurley here, hoping you're enjoying tonight's Clack Festival Theater presentation of First Spaceship to Venus. You know, holiday season is the perfect time to enjoy Clack's industrial salad based snacks and snippets any time of the day or year. Start the morning with a Technicolor yawn by serving up piles of flabby Clack leather pancakes dotted with dicey cocoa stumps. Kids can't resist the texture of Clack's creamy clotted palm spread squeezed out on horsey biscuits. And don't forget the Sir Cheddar snack -a -lots and top them with Jimmy hats for a Western Roundup and safe snacking. And moms, don't forget to serve the Clabber Club platters of salamander finger witches, creamy crust puppies, and hey, try a load of taco minced meat relish parfait served up in a tulip glass for that touch of elegance. Uncle Bob's just out of the institution. Celebrate with skin mittens, brightened up with gamey forced meat stuffing, and don't forget those Polynesian cheese devils. Then, pinch off some clack hanger-crafted cobra coils to complement a Bastille Day buffet, and lube up those cooter cakes with that incredibly edible, spreadable phlegm. Watch Kitty's galvanic skin response shoot through the ceiling by wrapping him in clack wrap and making her a festive centerpiece. At lunchtime, light your hand on fire and plunge it into the traditional gut loaf whistle pie, just like Grandpa used to do before they took him away. And finally, dress your holiday table in style with a gold-roasted mutant hell beast stuffed with flesh button dressing, made fresh with clack saladus, cooter croutons, and grandmother's earlobes, always the best. Accent with creamy crust puppies, velvety chode balls, and of course, a mug of holiday swill. Remember, if you're incapable of showing emotion but know how to cook, clack has a snack idea for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we'll be right back after these messages. Fields, 
Lloyd, Keaton, Benchley, Langdon, Laurel and Hardy. They all made movies, they're all dead, and they're all here on Dead Comics Society. Classic movies by Classic Comics. Hosted by Robert Klein. Dead Comics Society. Sunday morning at 10 Eastern on CTV. SCTV. Okay, let's roll. Where ordinary television... Boring. And I mean bad. ...doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> SCTV. <laughs> it's music. It's dance. It's magic. Love to magic. <laughs> SCTV. The whole concept falls into the arena of good fun. SCTV tonight at 1 a.m. on CTV, the Comedy Network. Gillette presents Sensor, the system. The technology that will change the way you shave forever. Sensor. Twin blades set on springs to read your face and respond. Independent suspension to sense and adjust to every curve of your face. No other razor comes close. Gillette Sensor. For the best shave a man can get. For years. Scientists have wondered who were the dinosaurs. Were they the great brutish beasts of lore? Or might they have been gentle creatures capable of great caring, warmth, and sensitivity? Ta-da! Oh, hi. How you doing? How you doing? Earl, this is your baby. Hi, I'm the baby. Brand new, just out. Gotta love me. Come on. Gotta love me. Dinosaurs, the next big thing, premieres tonight on ABC TV. Say who we are, and you say this with your discount subscription to this car and driver at the lowest rate going, a 50% instant TV discount, $9.97 off the basic rate, if you grab the bargain now. Call toll-free 1-800-726-6000. Twelve issues are just $9.97, an instant TV discount of half off the basic subscription rate. To save now, call 1-800-726-6000. That's 1-800-726-6000. The hottest new album of the decade is burning up the airwaves. This is Guitar Rock, a giant four record set. Original hits by the original stars on four LPs or two double length cassettes, 1999. Two compact discs, 24.99. Nothing rocks harder or louder. Had your credit card ready. Here's on order. Order call 1-800-733-3700 or send 1999 for four records or two cassettes or 24.99 for two compact discs plus four dollars shipping and handling to Guitar Rock, PO Box 65785, Salt Lake City, Utah. My name is Alan King. Comedian. Ever wonder how the comedy mind works? Science says it's open 24 hours, and he says not in a row. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, Joey. I don't know, kid. Go put on your own show. Well, who wants to see two comedians talking? Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind. Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern on CTV, the Comedy Network. <laughs> The glass forest is radiating energy. Come quickly. Oh, that's just what I was afraid of. Oh, why didn't you tell us, Mr. Know-it-all? Look at that. Oh, it makes the see us turn red. Maybe it's embarrassed. I am not surprised. Oh, shut, shut up! up. No. Now, everything is clear. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. The sphere yeah. creates an artificial force field, uh -huh. yeah. which yeah. strengthens the gravitational field. Yeah, strengthens. It diminishes it. At this least. very moment, the power is augmenting. Mm -hmm. When the energy is inverted, Inverted? the field will reverse itself. Uh -huh. We'll be held in space. Well, that's interesting, but does Don't it belong in the script? There's still time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you build it, he will come. Quickly. Hello, Herringway. Come in, please. Joel, what's a Herringway? About a pound. Oh, a jar. Oh, this is where I want to live. The weather's so great. Jeez, 
I hope this baby stops. I think I left the dome light on. Uh, just throw that stuff anywhere. I kind of live out of my car. Get into these metal cars. We'll be safe from the lightning here. In the future, they drive AMC Pacers. <laughs> I'm getting car sick. <laughs> okay, who knows the song? Come on, let's have fun. I know. when they were hit by an atomic explosion. So they all look like Tina Turner, I guess. Incredible. Those crummy vandals can't leave anything alone. And now the only thing that is left of them is their shadow. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Good night. Uh, May God bless. The Marax is picking up commands from the underground nerve center. I knew that. Look at the key it's using to decode them. Quiet. It's incredible, Sakarna. Thank you. E equal to MC squared. I stole that. That's Albert Einstein's old formula. Yes, but their integration factor is a curve closed upon itself. Neat. Hey, hey, come here. You gotta, you gotta check this out. Look at this. Hmm? Take that's a look. It's interesting. Well, that's a first. Oh, that's disgusting. Look. Neat. That's wonderful. Those are seeds. I know. They're mine. They're plant seeds. Yep. Where did you find them? I found them on the surface near the nerve center. Spilled them. They were certainly carried there by one of those big storms. If these seeds are still fertile, it proves there is life on this planet. Professor Sicano wants everybody in the Marics, please. Oh, that's just great. We're busted. I knew you were going to cut to me. Our researchers on the metal insects found in the cave have told us a little of this planet's history. As to the message we heard, there's no doubt about it. They said, Run! The inhabitants of Venus were contemplating launching an atomic attack on our planet. But the attack wasn't carried out. Good for us. In accident, they didn't expect to upset their plan. The 18th. Their atomic weapons got out of their control. As did their bomb reaction was unleashed, and they all perished. Only their shadows remained. I knew their energy projectors, although partially destroyed, are capable of working again. If their energy reactions are set in motion by some accident or even by one of us. Why, what do you mean? That we've started the reaction? No, Baldy did. When that rock fell into the black mud, what happened? Oh, the rock, would you let that die? Out that the slime was a living thing. Then something terrible happened. The slime began to grow rapidly. Then it got its own First series. It dilated. Now tell us, what happened next? The black slime started to move. Yes. It began to follow us. We were cornered. What did you do? I used the Deuteron ray gun and I shot into it. Then we frightened it away with the coat hanger. You should never have done that. You started an atomic reaction. Oh, there was nothing else to do. We had no other way of getting out. Yes. You started a chain reaction over the whole atomic installation. Happy. Now we're really in a nice mess. Yeah, now it's really going to hit the fan. What can we do? What time was it? 17 hours 10. I remember. I knew that. Yes. yes. It was at that moment that the sphere turned red. It looks as if mass changed into energy by process rather like that of the atom bomb. I've written the a poem this about it. knew how to reverse the process. They changed mass into energy, but also they could change energy back into mass. Fantastic. The inhabitants of Venus are, or rather were, far in advance of us in the applications of physics. That's one thing we have to acknowledge. Beedy, beedy, beedy. I gotta go walkies. Beedy. What the Sam Scratch? Hey, you kids, stop running up there. Oh, oh my God. Get you, you and your mother and I are very old. Bingo. Beedy, 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 taste my steel. Brakeman, switch off all the automats. Tower, come and help me. Tweaky pops the clutch and tells the dog to eat his rust. The glass bar is off! What? The spear is turning red! Wouldn't yours? Olaf! What'd you call me? 
The radiation from the glass forest has upset Omega's electronic brain. The Marax computer's gone out of action as well. <laughs> Look! Oh, yes. Neat. Now can I get back to work? If the radiation keeps on increasing like this, we won't have a chance. Yay! Even the Cosmos Trader's leg shielding won't be enough to protect us. Come on! I think he has eternal injuries. Eternal injuries, even in the afterlife? Huh? Start up the rockets, Tom. We must take off at once before it's too late. I'm a little bit mad at the your robot. The gravity field is increasing more and more. The radiation's paralyzed everything. Nothing is working. Oh, tell us some oh, good Tom news. The is nothing but an inert lump of metal. It used to be cool. Uh, you rang? Only one chance. Are oh, your flies off? Awesome. Try to do what the Venusians did: make the energy of the glass force in the sphere change back into mass once more. Uh, wrong, but yes, thanks but for I'll... playing. When the mud attacked you on the tower, uh, I'll be right up. And you decided to use the ray gun, which changed the mass into energy. I think I saw something was happening in the Venusian nerve center. I think I know how to start the reverse process. But I'm going to need a big grant. Can I use the rocket plane? And take it with you. Oh, you're forgetting the gravity field. It won't fly. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Now get out of his way. He's got a copter to fly. I'll come with you. You won't even know I'm there. I'm just going to sit in the corner and read. Hey, look. Venusian blinds. <laughs> it with the... Hey, it's Eric Roberts' sex table. <laughs> Okay, up there, feet in the stirrups. Oh, oh no, it's for him. Oh, I see. That planet is covered with creamy nougat. We are entering the Venusian city. The hurricane is getting much worse. How is Harrington? About a pound. Oh, we now. Oh, boy. Uh, I was just... No, when you... I didn't... Hit him. Why watch 23 movies, 60 hours of television, and go to 97 comedy clubs? When you can get all the comedy you need in just one hour on Short Attention Span Theater. It's Star of the Hour. It's Video Star. Stand-up comedy like you've never seen it before. It's chock full of comedy from feature films and comedy entertainment news and tour dates. It's like 24 hours of CTV, the comedy network rolled into one. Hour, that is. So don't waste time. Watch Short Attention Span Theater and get a life. Weekdays at 6 p.m. on CTV, the comedy network. Random Acts of Variety. It's CTV's original comedy variety show. It's got jugglers. That's random. And comedians. They're an act. It's got the random actors. That's acting. And it's got interviews with famous people. That's specifically random. It's a virtual variety of virtuosos. Welcome to the Weederville Army Base. Watch Random Acts of Variety, Friday at 10, only on CTV, the comedy network. For years, scientists have wondered who were the dinosaurs. Were they the great brutish beasts of lore? Or might they have been gentle creatures capable of great caring, warmth, and sensitivity? Ta-da! Oh, hi! How you doing? How you doing? Earl, this is your baby. Hi, I'm the baby. Brand new, just out. Gotta love me. Come on! Gotta love me! Dinosaurs, the next big thing, premieres tonight on ABC TV. Hey, I know how you feel. Your weight is up, your energy's down, your self-esteem's low, your blood pressure's high. You know what you need? Exercise. But who has the time? You do. Just imagine. Imagine what a difference you can make in just 20 minutes a day, three times a week with Nordic Track. Nordic Track. They call it the world's best aerobic exercise. Nordic Track's patented flywheel provides smooth, non-jarring continuity of motion, so there's no stress to your back or knees. Your total body gets into the action. That's not true with ordinary exercisers. Nordic Track's total body workout burns more calories. You'll lose weight, reduce stress, and feel better. I'll bet you never imagined fitness at home could be this easy. Now is the time to get rid of that unfit body. Create a new you. Try Nordic Track for 30 days at home with no risk or obligation. You'll see and feel the difference. Call for a free video and brochure. If you can hammer a nail, you can build a great deck like this one. 
If you can wire a lamp, you can install track lighting like this. I'm Bob Vila. To do great projects like these, all you need is the Home Repair and Improvement series from Time Life Books. Every volume has all the clear-cut instructions you need to take on home improvement jobs with confidence. You'll discover how simple it really is to add value to your home and save money by doing it yourself. From adding built-in shelving in a closet to installing new electrical outlets. Order your first book, Kitchens and Bathrooms. Examine it free for 15 days. Keep it for the special introductory price of just $1.99. Other volumes like basic wiring and plumbing will follow. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. As a bonus, you'll also get this Stanley tape measure free with your first purchase. So if you can handle just a few basic tools, you can create a home you'll be proud of with the Home Repair and Improvement Series from Time Life Books. This just in. Naked women frolic in streets as money falls from sky. Mm, okay. And Car 54 is next on the Comedy Network. Admit me into this hospital right away. This guy thinks he's Isaac Asimov. The bone connected to the femur bone. I don't remember. I don't know. Ah, oh, oh, at least you could have put me under. He's breathing out of a football. How are you coming along, Jerome? I think I found my class ring. Can you... Can you hear me? Where are yeah, you? Right under the table. Starting to climb down into the Venusian nerve center. Ugh. Oh, give me a... Oh, I'm trying to scrape my knee. Ugh. Oh, 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 slack, slack, give me some slack there. You know, any interest I had for them getting safely off the planet has been completely erased by a miasma of boring technical stuff. Oh, boy, you said it. Whoa. Come on, you guys, just try to stay with me. If you would like to leave a number, please call back. We might leave... Hit by a phone. Uh, Chen Yu, I'm dangling here. Uh, it's it's only my shoulder. Uh, uh, I've got another one. It's okay. Huh? My spacesuit. It's punctured. And it's rented. I'm coming to help you. I'm on no my way. Down. You must save the others. Okay. Heading way. I can't hold out for long. Hang my way? air's escaping. <laughs> Hey, could you give me some slat? Uh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. The sphere is white again. Look, Cicada. Ready to pop. Mario has succeeded in reversing the field. My spacesuit is punctured. My oxygen's escaping and the safety device has failed. Yeah, yeah, shake it off, you whiner. Apparently there's a You've list of all people who die in this film. Ooh, sign me up. I'll set off at once in the rocket plane. Huh? I'll get you out of it, Chen Yu. Hold on. I'm coming with oxygen. And bells on. Chen Yu. Bless, Bless you. you. Hello, Chen Yu. Bless, Bless you. you. Hold on. Brinkman is calling. Chen Yu. Bless, Bless you. you. Chen Yu. Bless, Bless you. you. I must talk to him. Chen Yu, listen to me. Those seeds that you found. They're growing. They're growing, Chen Yu. Tall and proud. You've proved that there's life on the planet. Yes, Chen Yu, there's still life on Venus. I'm dying of agonizing death, and yet my seeds are growing. I'm the happiest boy on the planet. The braking motors are off. The braking motors are off. Tell you, Chen Yu, Brinkman. Quick. Come back at once. I knew they we might die. The we're straight down. We're being pushed off the planet. The reverse process is in action. The energy field is acting like a catapult. The negative gravity is increasing. There, see? Look. Oh, sure, they're all going to die, but it looks cool. Brinkman, can you hear me? We're being hurled into space. Tell you what, can you, Brinkman, are you receiving me? Sirica. Sirica. Oh, I love. 
<laughs> we must try and go back. Please. Don't bother please. me. I'm driving. Wait. Hey, guys. Help me. Where are you? Help. Are you receiving me? I can't get back. I'm being held off the plane. Yeah, yeah. Too bad. Rocketing off the charts with that immortal hit, it's Bob's death. Next, coming up, Rocket Man. Boy, Estes has nothing on those guys. <gasps> My dear friends would never leave me. Hey! Come back! Wait a minute. I'm not Rita. You're taking off? You're leaving me? Uh huh. Bearing way. Hold on. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go, Rita. Don't oh, go, Rita. At least he's taking it like a man. Now you really find out who your friends are. Yeah. The Cosmos Trader is returning. The Cosmos Trader is returning. We have called them, but at the moment, there is no reply. There's an angry black gentleman on line one. They could be out back. Would you please just turn that off? Attention, Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the chip at sea. Topless astronauts left friends on planet returning today. Triumphant, the end of the movie. They're coming back, and we're here to greet them. Godzilla! Godzilla! Oh, wrong movie, sorry. This is the music for the landing of the rocket. The white zone is for landing. For all astronauts making connecting flights, please consult your flight. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! hey. It's the A team. <laughs> Hey, there's an M car filled with A people. Ma. Ma. See, it's a way to make words. Ma. Please. It's like I got rhythm. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm all right. Hey, it's Devo. Hey, hey. This is the song. That we sing when you come home from Venus. It's really deep, the dancing A guys. Hey, maybe those guys read Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> We're more popular than the Beatles. Hey. Who are these people? Tender love scene. I greet the earth. I greet you all. But not right now. So what were the guys like? We have learned much. But we have sacrificed a lot. Too much. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> She looks kind of familiar. It's my Aunt Betty. Uh, oh, what's she doing there? Let us honor the memory of three great men. They're standing right here. <laughs> Talua saved the expedition from disaster. And then became Compo. Chen Yu. Bless you. Bless you. Discovered life on Venus. And Brinkman. Scream like a baby human when we flew off on the left. planet. May they never be forgotten. So, lunch, everybody? We found traces of a great civilization that had advanced beyond our comprehension. The Venusian science had gone beyond their power to control it. A dreadful catastrophe fell upon them. My one piece of advice, would do not have machines. the Venetian poo-poo platter. We still have a grave task before us. Covering the whole thing up. We must use our inner planets. We'll fly further and further. Mankind's destiny. Ooh. Jump credits are important too. Hey, who's this? Who are you? Hey, get her off me! Okay. Hey. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Let her go. Hey. Oh man, at least.
we're not going to have to go through that again. Oh, what a shame. I'd like to go through some of that again real soon. Uh, actually, I kind of liked it. Oh, 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 it was all too beautiful, like watching the old New Adventures of Perry Mason or any Monty Markham television project. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of, like, mornings I'd eat way too much sugar crisp and then watch the Three Stooges and you could kind of smell mothballs in the other room. Well, that sounds like cozy fun, Joel. Oh, it made me feel like I did after I learned that Neil Diamond wrote Red Red Wine. Ooh, two giant scoops of that for me. Well, I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, uh, I mean, it had some spots that were kind of slow, but I liked the international flavor. And, well, yeah. I had a lot of action. Uh, kind of reminds me of watching uh, Stallone explain his theory of life on the Donahue show, and you can kind of taste copper. Oh, no, 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 no. It, watching that movie was like nodding through the entire Jerry Lewis labor day telethon complete with a tearful dean martin jerry lewis reunion mr bojangles and joey bishop and only waking up during the parts of the show that come from the lame old local network affiliates oh sign me up for hours of that kind of rip our collective hearts out and show them to us on national television that's what i wanted more of it i don't think so hey wow well, well i guess we should hmm. uh I guess we should read a letter now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, got some uh, letters here from some... Thanks for writing in, everybody. Really appreciate it. This first one comes from Amy Bochard of Boys Ranch, Florida. She writes, Dear Crow... Let's put that up on still sore their, uh, uh, their cam bot. Dear Crow, Tom, Servo, Joel, and Gypsy, you guys are real funny. I want you guys to write back. My whole family likes to watch your movie. We watched seven of your movies. We like the beach movie hey. the best. Amy Bochard, seven years old, and there's a drawing, and it's got me saying Puma, 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 or the guy saying Puma, 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 and then it says Louis Moff in 1955, and then it's got Tom Servo saying Puma, 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 and then I'm going Meow, 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 and you're going Woo, Woo, Woo. Very cute. Yeah. And then there's this one. This is from Jennifer Michelle Kalis from Lebanon. Wow. Put that on still store there, and that says, Dear Crow, I like you. Hey, I like you too. Me and my daddy die laughing. Uh, question. Okay. Hey, I like that movie with the girl singing a song, and you started dancing. How are you so funny? Question mark. Talent? Question mark. Read the book. Yeah. Question mark. Anyway, Me. Tom, you want to read that? Uh, the. Mm, he's kind of out of it. Yeah. Do you want to read it, Tom uh, Crow? Oh, read the address so that a bunch of pathetic urchins can write to us? Sounds like super fun. Oh, come on. Ah, what? just kidding, just kidding. Oh, you little, uh, I'm going to give you a chin <laughs> rascal, you little dickens. Yeah. I'm oh. not dead. <coughs> I'm getting better. Oh, hey, he's okay. I'm so oh, happy, good. happy, happy. Hey. Oh, good. He's all right. Hey, I'm okay. Yeah, I feel a lot better. It looks like we're a family again, huh? Oh, yeah. What do you think, sirs? Oh, you guys are too much. Oh, I'm gonna give myself a chin rascal. Oh. oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this all by my whittle self. Oh, chin rascal, chin rascal, chin rascal. Oh, my God.